Okay, I don't think the Mark of the Beast is, I mean, it's here. Clearly it's here. But I don't think it's going to be enforced <clears throat> relatively anytime soon. And the reason that I think that is because there's just so much else that hasn't happened yet. Now, it could happen that, you know, the the nations go into buying more money for their food and um, go to war with one another. But so far, um, it's definitely looking more like a one world government where there should be um, skirmishes and no peace. Um, because the, the Bible says, watch out when they're saying peace, peace. And they're not saying peace, peace, really. I mean, maybe they are. Maybe they are on that one. But they're not uh, fulfilling the other prophecies. Um, the measure of wheat for a penny and three measures of bar or two, two measures of barley for a penny. Um, they're not fulfilling the war prophecy. They're not fulfilling the temple going up. Um, because, see, uh, when he actually forces everybody to to take it or die, he's halfway, he's three and a half years into the temple having gone up. So, um, so we also know we're going to have some room to, uh, where we're going to not be able to eat really, not be able to find food where you won't be, you know, they're not going to kill you. Um, so we, we do have some time on that. We got at least three and a half years till they kill us. And we got however long it takes for the temple to go up too, um, and added on to that. Um, but, um, I'm, I'm surprised Israel hadn't put the temple up yet, but, um, <clears throat> anyway, um, it's, it's not going to be like tomorrow, take it or don't eat. So, uh, they haven't, they haven't pulled that card on us yet. Um, and I don't think they're going to with the vaccine and all. Um, I think that they're going to say, well, g good, if you, if you have the vaccine, you're protected. If you don't have it, you're not protected, but you can still shop. I think they're still going to let us shop, to be honest. Um, but they could uh, federally force, enforce that, that basically make it like a code or something where you have to um, get the vaccine. I don't see them as doing that. Um, but they do do that for like babies and stuff. They they force them to get their vaccines, so uh, or they can't go to school and things like that. Um, and that's truancy right there. But uh, so a lot of parents choose to homeschool, um, so they don't. You know they're not in trouble with the officers for truancy. Um, so there is some ways around the the vaccine um but those kids they they get out into real life they're still unprotected but they're treating them where they can still shop um you know as they grow up even if they don't have the vaccines so uh i'm thinking it's going to be a case where you can still shop but they they look down upon it a lot